So in 2013, I was in my last year at ATA College. Uh, I just made the first 15. Um, I'd sort of cruising through school life. Didn't really particularly enjoy school, to be fair. I had an attitude of the the bare minimum <laughs> and nothing more. So the media studies teacher approached me and said that she had a couple of boys in her class that were just completely disengaged, uh, but she knew that they were in my PE class and she knew that they were achieving well in my PE class. Um, we also then brought in the first 15 coach into the conversation, so that sort of led to a, a, a bigger conversation around how could we support these young boys to find something that would really excite them and motivate them. I like the thought of making learning meaningful and, and, and relevant and real and so this I saw as a good opportunity to do something different. We then created this idea that the boys could design and film a documentary based on this really big First 15 game which is the Beard Trophy which they play for every year. The Beard Trophy was a huge part of the First 15 in 2013 so we thought if we focused on that uh, it would be quite a good story and get that to come across quite well. Yeah, I was blown away by how well it captured the whole spirit and essence of that team that year. It just did a really stunning job. It sort of added another layer of, of our season and we had cameras there and you know, people filming, we were inside the sheds and I think it enhanced our team performance as well. There was definitely no uh, hassle trying to get the work done I think as well, being something we're so interested in. I think it's probably one of the only classes we both turned up to every day and you know gave our all and put our ideas in there. With it being in a group environment you, you know we're all reliant on each other to participate and contribute so with, with me it created some sort of accountability to actually turn up to, to school. The media studies teacher was just super excited that they were on task. They were kind of, from all accounts, guns blazing, and the whole of the first 15 were quite excited about it as well because there's a few showboaters in that first 15. So, you know, put them in front of a camera and they were pretty happy about that. So. It's probably one of the only projects, if I look back, that I can really remember. Um, being so close to home and being part of that team and everything. It just, even just talking about it does give me sort of goosebumps and brings back a lot of pride. For me, in terms of my own teaching practice, it was a big game changer. It suddenly gave us permission to not just talk to teachers in our department, but actually talk to teachers in other departments and see how could we share ideas, how could we support learners that were common to our learning areas. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely recommend this kind of project. Uh, you know, it brings, brings you back into the class and gets you focused. It provides a link between a passion or an interest and education. So not all kids and not all teachers and not all schools will want to work with sport as their context, but it doesn't have to be. It's the same in performing arts, it could be the same in, you know, looking at space programs, it could, you know, a whole raft of things, but it's that personalising it for the young people. Um, giving them opportunities to create something new from their learning and then share it with others. That's kind of what I hope. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.